So we created a Google Analytics 4 audit checklist. This will help you get all of your client accounts set up. And we just launched a brand new newsletter last month where we're giving away different templates each month. So if you want a copy of this GA4 audit uh, template and checklist, just sign up for the newsletter and this will be going out later today. So we'll start with the format here. So we have a summary tab, which will basically be the end deliverable that you send over to your clients. Uh, then there's the GA4 audit checklist. So in this checklist, when we go to this tab, this is going to have all the different checkpoints we're going to look at as we're conducting the audits. Um, the nice thing about this template, it also doubles as a setup document because it'll have um, a lot of information on what we're going to change, what we're recommending to implement, and then you could take that and go make the changes. Uh, so in the category column, we tried to match these names up with uh, how it's laid out in GA4. So a lot of these labels here are how we've labeled the categories to make it easier to track down where you would go to locate uh, some of these items. So essentially, in the status column, you can mark each item as pass or fail. The way the template works is anything that you mark as fail will automatically populate on this tab, just like this. If I clear out uh, all of these, then this will actually delete everything on the summary tabs. You'll see now the tab is blank. So um, I'm going to go ahead, we'll just put everything as fail, and then we could see that this gets populated here. Um, and this is really like the, the ultimate end report to send over to the client. Uh, that'll map out all the recommendations and changes. Now, the way this works in B3 here is where we have a query formula. So this is basically just saying to look through the GA4 audit checklist and look for any uh, items that are marked as fail. And then we're grabbing a few of these different uh, columns here and populating this. So uh, we won't go through everything right now in, in this video, but um, that's basically how the process works. And again, you would go through, I guess, one other nuance to the template. There's some areas where you could actually fill in information. So for audiences, we gave recommendation on like standard audiences that we, that we see. But if you have a certain audience that you'd want to develop, you can just change this text to however you want the audience to be. Uh, same thing for events. We gave a few just standard one like login clicks, button clicks. You could just change this text to any event that you're recommending to set up. Same things with conversions as well. For conversions, we've listed out just kind of some of the standard forms we see. So demos, contact forms, gated content, email clicks, phone clicks. But again, all this text, you can change the text here and then it'll populate how you change it uh, accordingly on the summary tab. Uh, we have product linking, so the different tools that you can link uh, with BigQuery, Google Ads, Google Search Console probably being the most common. Uh, then we have some recommendations on custom reports. Um, we didn't list out a ton here. We just basically noted uh, things to remove, integrating Google Search Console, and then basically, is there any custom reports set up? Um, but you could easily add another row or change any of these to the exact reports that you're recommending the client set up. For explorations, we did make some recommendations on some of the standard ones that we see. So the first thing to do is check, are they actually using these? And then if you need some ideas on how to get started, we basically have a few path exploration ideas, like a starting point homepage or any of the other key landing pages and then um, having conversion path explorations as well. And then we have a little bit of uh, Google Tag Manager here, um, just on basically if it's set up properly, different events you could set up through Google Tag Manager. Um, and then again, all of this will populate right onto the sheet here. So if you want a copy of the template, uh, just sign up for the newsletter. This is going to be going out later today. Uh, if you